Hey guys, it's Beckett. Okay, so this is going to be my gear loadout for the 2019 Sleeping Giant event hike. I've been doing that with Toots, uh, Midwest Backpacker, uh, Art Pelton One, a few other guys. It's going to be a great, great time out there, and it's going to be awesome. <coughs> I'll, uh, first time I'll ever be uh, going with a group. I've always done it solo, except for in the spring, and then. I had uh, Toots with me just for two nights on my two uh, two week trip out there, and he came and joined me. First met him out there. Great, great guy. So, anyways, so we start off. Here is the pack. It's my new uh, Gregory Stout 75 liter backpack. This thing is great. I use it once. It was the last time I went out to the drive. And uh, so yeah, so. First thing, I'm going to pack up everything into it and just explain how I do it and a little details about everything. Okay, so this is a sleeping bag. This is a Woods uh, Adventurer 5 degree sleeping bag. So that's going to go into the bottom a compartment here for sleeping bags. And I don't use the uh, stuff sack that it came with. When I pack it, I just shove it down in, gets right into the corners really good. And even and when storing it, I, I don't either. I don't want to use the stuff sack for storing it either. I just hang it up in my gear closet. You can store it, and then it starts to lose its loft. Like if, or if you if you stuff it, it starts to lose its loft. After a while, so I just let it hang. Yeah, this bag I got not too long ago too in the spring. But it's ready for five degrees, so I'm going it. Going on a group hike, it's at the end of September. Might be a little cold out there, but I got some warm enough clothes. Okay, so I got that in. And next is going to be the tent. There it is, my Elixir, my MSR Elixir 2, two person tent. And normally, a lot of times, I'll uh, I got the uh, the poles inside here, and the tent's just stuffed in. I got the uh, the main tent first, the mesh tent, then the rainfly, then the footprint. The reason I do it like that is because if it's raining, when I open up, first thing I pull out is the footprint. I get the pole set up, and then I put on the, I could put on the rainfly if it's raining. Get the rainfly on, and then I could put the inner tent on, put it up inside the rainfly. That's what I like about this tent. So that's why I got it in so the main the, the mesh body comes out last so it doesn't get wet. And normally I have the, the poles are in here. Normally I have them strapped uh, lashed onto the outside of the uh, pack. But this is a shorter trip for me. It's only four days, three nights. And I could uh, not take as much food. So I can fit them in here. And normally I take them out, put them on the outside and I can compress it down to half the size. So it saves a lot more space in the pack. So that goes in. And I got my clothes bag. Got all the clothes I need for that trip. In there. Sorry, <laughs> shut those down in there. And next, I'm going to do my food bag. There's all the food I need for four days up there. Mountain House meals, oatmeal, and some snacks. And Zena's food too, of course. She's coming too. And then we got the Thermarest pillow, compressible pillow. I just think I love this thing. It's so comfortable. I used to use the stuff sack filled with my clothes so it's so lumpy and everything it's not the same and this one rolls right up it just kind of folds in on itself that very lightweight uh, I'm not sure what the weight is on this but uh, it's a pillow <laughs> it's not very heavy And you just kind of cinch it all up, compress it up. 
that would have shoved down in there too. Nice. There we go. And then we got my uh, Woods Revo Thermal Air Pad. That will go in there. And next, I got my my kettle. Inside the kettle, I'll put spare batteries for my headlamp. Put in my headlamp in here. And I got the uh, new uh, MSR Pocket Rocket 2 stove. Another little piece of gear I love. And it packs down nice and small. Because uh, the... Uh, base of the, the pot holders all fold down. Just kind of swing them around, fold them down, turn up the regulator, boom, boom. And that's it. And packs down nice as well, that can fit right into the uh, kettle. And then uh, got a little spare Bic lighter and some waterproof matches. They all go into the kettle. And get the kettle in there. Usually we'll put the room. I usually put my kettle or my pot set in there. Normally I bring on uh, a pot or both pots, but not this time around. Just that because they're doing the mountain house meals. They're going to do them right out of the bag. And then next, uh, got Zena's Night Howl Light Crawler. That is going to go inside the lid pack. It has a little interruption there, but that's what editing editing's for. So yeah, the, I see I was saying her Woods Night Howl light collar. Put that in there inside the uh, the lid pocket under underneath. And I got my Woods or Woods uh, Outbound uh, six inch blade knife. I originally got this knife first and in the spring. I had it strapped on the uh, my hip belt and going through the Kabayan Trail and there's at the, the south end there's so much blow down there and very overgrown and uh, crawling under a bunch of crap and uh, yeah I kind of lost it it fell, fell out of its sheath and I bought it again another one and then we got my Cedar Summit Spork and then this is I got the Go Stick for my uh, phone it's uh, originally designed for the uh, GoPro camera, but this one uses, uh, I just uh, took off the end of it and just rigged up a little piece that holds the phone. I'm using that right now. And this connects to the bottom of it so you can use it as a tripod. And it's telescoping, telescoping. You can stand it up and then I use it as a selfie stick. And then I use this just at the bottom for a uh, tripod. That's also going to go in with the knife, and then the Cedar Summit Spork is going to go in there as well, and Zena's food dish. That will go in the main compartment. And next, I've got my Nevada down jacket, which will go up and top. Yeah. And Easy access if I need it on the trail, if I doubt. It's semi easy access. Get that all cinched down. And then the, I'll put this drawstring. Lock it all in there. And It's got this another strap here to compress it all back. It compress it in. It's got the drawstring, but then there's another compression strap just to hold it all in securely. Like that there. All up. This lid pulls out. And bear with me.
Okay. Now let's get this up here. Another thing that I really like about this pack too, it's got the uh, hip belt pockets. So next what I'm going to put in is a raincoat. It's got this outer mesh pocket. Squeeze so much into there. put my smart water bottle I started using those finally realizing you know so many other people always use those I see people using them and I see why because they're so light but the bottle itself is like super light so that's, you know where you can save a little bit of weight then I got my coffee mug and I keep all my coffees be taking six coffees you know, for a couple of day and uh, I think I got two in here already from last time. That down in there. Then, got my uh, Thermarest ZC. And my, get my Thermarest ZC, my ass pad. <laughs> Shove that down in the other pocket. And I have an easy uh, access to this for, uh, or on the trail and on the hike and stop take a break all right and then the last thing well, I got my woods adventurer trekking pole that obviously doesn't get packed because I'm using that when we hike and then I got Xena's sleep pad after a while I discovered like why don't I ever take this it's uh, in the back it's in her trailer and uh, her bike trailer when I take her for bike rides, it's nice soft padding. Really light, lightweight. And uh, so last time we went out, I decided, I'm gonna try taking this. And especially with this pack, I can strap it on the outside, no problem. So that, I can roll it up really good. And then we've got the sleeping bed or sleeping pad straps here, connect it to there. course here's Zenith's pack I'm not gonna go through everything in here but uh, I got my first aid kit, kit in here I'll just quickly say what's in here but yeah first aid kit bug spray toilet paper rope to hang my bear bag and uh, my, my food bag her water bowl and just uh, oh yeah my uh, Emmy or my uh, blue hive 21,400 mAh power power bank. Got that in there just to charge my phone. So yeah, that obviously was in Xena. And then the only other thing I'd be packing would be my phone, which I'm using to film this. But that on the shoulder strap, I uh, lashed on this little little bag. It's perfect for the phone. It sits in there so I can easy access, taking pictures and whatever. So yeah, definitely not as heavy as my old ones. So. I don't know, a lot of it is the gear. Uh, I got a lot of lighter gear, so. So yeah, and then just a lot easier to slip on and off than the old one. Okay, there we have it. Sternum strip. Yeah. And that's my pack for the giant hike in September, the end of actually this month, and uh, really looking forward to it. I'm meeting, uh, I've already met Toots once, and I meet Mid Jeremy from Midwest Backpacker, and Robert Pelton from R. Pelton One, and a couple other guys. So yeah, there's definitely going to be six of us for sure, and maybe a couple others. Okay, so we'll see you on the trail. <laughs>